I'm still Ring alive. that motherfucking bell. <laughs> <laughs> Say it like you mean it, bitch. That's true. <laughs> right, Dad, that's awesome. You gotta be hungry. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let me show you. Um, so I've actually had a couple of messages on, um, on, you know, like my red, my red fin comping video, like, how do you do this on Zillow? So let's just say we were going to comp this property here in Homestead, Florida. Uh, you can do it. I'll be show you one of two ways of doing it. Actually, uh, you can duplicate the page. And then dive right into the maps feature here. You would uh, you would definitely like uh, exit out this thing here, and you see where that's where our property is. You want to keep an eye on that. And just kind of zoom it in. So while you're changing your filters, if you want to make like a visual um, pocket, you can, or you can remove the boundary and just draw it. I've kind of now gotten to the point where I've done it visually, where it's like, I know that here on Southwest 6th Avenue to um, this side of uh, Southwest 9th Avenue, I'm going to keep all this in this pocket right here. So in this case, I'm going to look for the solds, the pricing you're not really going to mess with. This one had four beds uh, and uh, two baths. So I'm going to put that. We're only going to look for houses, obviously. And then... This one rents, uh, what year was this built? 1994. So in our filters section, year built, 1990. And let's just say 2000. Okay. Oh, and pretty important, sold in the last 12 months. All right. Oh, damn it. Okay, here we go. So right in here is where the property was, right? So we've got one for 250. Let's see what is this? This was like a flip or what was this? Um, this is taking forever to load. But I'll use it that way and I can get like, you know, I always kind of start with like the most expensive one first and then work my way down. So, you know, for one thing, it's the same thing still applies. Like it's still got to be the same aesthetic the same kind of look to it, uh, the same kind of uh, like backyard, front yard, garage, it would make your comp a lot more solid, but that's how you'll do it with the Zillow thing too as well. Um, and going in there and then remember that this is a whole neighborhood. Now your comp is going to be great when it's right here. If you cross Southwest 7th Street, maybe not as much. But right in here is where you're really, really, really going to want to stay. But you can, that's how you'll do the comp, uh, comping for Zillow is the exact same way. Another way that uh, you can do it is by going here and just clicking on the, on the, uh, the maps feature, going to lot lines. And okay, now you've seen all, not only values, but you've seen everything that's sold. Problem is you don't know when this sold. This could be like five years ago. You know, you have no idea. So you would have to change those filters or if you want to, you can just do this and just click on it and see when it sold. So this one's still a, you know, relatively good comp. You know, it's right in the pocket, right in the area, four bed, two baths, you know, looks like a really nicely done rehab. So you could do that. And this is probably quicker. Now that's the only downfall is it does that a lot so you have to go back to the um the i don't know if it will let you do it by hitting the back page no it won't so yeah every time you have to do it or you can duplicate this page i think and keep it up there i think it might do it if you did that no it doesn't <laughs> so if you do click on anything you have to keep going back to the screen but that's another way of quickly kind of seeing what there is your picture of your property and you know exactly where the distance is of the next one sold. And you know, that one sold for 231, so it's over 229. And you can click these that are really close. And let's just see for shits and giggles of that's so that see that was two years ago. So that's something that's automatically out the window. You're not going to use it. 
And that's, that's kind of the way of doing it that way, but you can quickly see what's sold and what values are around the property um, with Zillow. And then with the, um, that, and then with Realtor, I'll use it for the rentals to show what that's going for. And, um, you know, that's how I'll use all of these different sites as much as possible. Try to get as much mileage as you can out of them. So if you, if you use PropStream, get it to where you look at the value and you're bouncing this value off of what Zillow, Redfin, Realtor kind of says to see if, if anything is in the same median average. And if it is, then you know where you can do your cash offers. If one is like completely drastic than the other, one is 185, the other one's 159, the other one's 225, take a step back before you make your call and like figure this out real quick because your cash offer, you don't want to just, you don't want to throw it off and say, well, I'll give you, I'm going to base it off of the highest offer that I found on uh, prop stream and, and, and go with that one. Or I found it off a realtor and I'm going to go off of this one. Uh, if at two twenty five, when the value probably was maybe one sixty five, So it's always good to kind of bounce that off or, and take all averages and seeing which one. So if I have more averages leaning towards 165, 185, 190, I'm going to go with those three and take the as the sum average of those three. And that's the property value I'm going with. And then I will do my cash offer based on that property value, especially if the asking price is way over. So that's how I'll, I'll go about that. Um, and and I've been finding, finding doing that uh, – and applying even if it's the 85% rule on like a, a cash offer with using 85%, that is, is there, there's still, uh, when you mention that to them and you throw out that kind of cash offer, they're, they're, they're actually a little bit more inclined to be like, oh, that's, that's a really good offer. Um, you know, I, that's the highest one I've had cash wise. Like, okay, great. You know, so that's uh, at least put me in the right ballpark. So I'm not starting off way too high or, with cash, you know what I mean? It just kind of ruins everything else. 